This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. The disappointment of not being drafted is quite difficult, I suppose, especially for a young 18-year-old. Uh, you know, you're finishing school, whether you start uni or going into the work life, and it's an extremely difficult time. Um, and, you know, I think that's probably why I took a year off football altogether. And, um, you know, at the time, a lot of people probably didn't think it was the best thing to do. But, um, you know, that year off, basically, I just wanted to come back and, and enjoy football because that's where we start, you know, whether it's running around early on a Saturday morning as an Oz kick. We just, we just love footy, and, you know, that, that's where I'm at now. When I was playing at Northern Knights in my final year, Dennis Pagan was my coach. You know, he was, uh, I suppose, very old school, very, very down the line, very tough, but um, you know, he was the sort of coach that, that I enjoyed and, and really warmed to. And the fantastic thing about Dennis is that you know, his wealth of knowledge and um, you know, still five, six years down the track, we still talk and uh, we, we speak on the phone regularly. I missed six drafts, I think it was, the sixth draft I got picked up. I probably did have thoughts whether or not I would nominate again. I would have probably had to see sort of how my season panned out. Um, and you know, in the last year, I didn't really speak to any clubs. Uh, you know, I thought it was all quiet on my front and maybe my time was up. But um, you know, on that rookie draft day when I had the call from Richmond, it was nerve-wracking, exciting, scary. It was all the words that were there, just the mixed emotions. I expected to go to work on that, that afternoon, but uh, instead I was up in uh, the top of Queensland with 35 degree heat in a room with uh, you know, Dusty and uh, Jack Rewalt. You know, going from you know a working life where it's basically nine to five, and you come home, and you switch off, or you go and play footy as an outlet, where footy now becomes basically a job. Um, so I did find that transition a, a little bit difficult at the start, but um, you know it didn't take long before I started feeling comfortable, and um, this is where I want to be, and I'm really enjoying it. My debut was, um, I suppose, it went from a real high to a, to a bit of a low. Um, I suppose, you know, with the jumper presentation and, and, and being presented the Richmond jumper, it's such a high honour to put it on with the rest of the guys, you know, like our armour is how we treat it. It was an uh, you know, incredible feeling to run out in front of the, the, the fans that we got at Richmond. Uh, you know, my short time here, you see how passionate they are. But midway through the second quarter, unfortunately, it was just a, a collision in the way things go in footy. And, um, I actually ended up with a grade three AC dislocation and um, you know, I was in surgery a couple of days later. Uh, but like I touched on earlier, you know, with crisis comes opportunity, I took that you know, eight to ten weeks of rehabilitation to get me ready to play AFL footy again. And uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity and now I'm just trying to make the most of it. I think, I think every club in the competition dares to dream. You know, everyone wants to play finals footy, that's, that's why we play footy. Um, but again, you know, we've still got three tough games to come and uh, you know, we focus on Collingwood this weekend.